The Image Slider is a new ASP.NET MVC extension used to display images and to navigate through them. Let's take a look at the Image Slider demos. The Features demo illustrates the primary features of the Image Slider. I can navigate through images by clicking the navigation buttons, dragging the picture, and by clicking the required thumbnail on the navigation bar. Use the demo options to change the values of the corresponding Image Slider properties and to see the result within the extension. This demo allows you to set one of the predefined scenarios using the predefined scenarios combo box. A scenario provides the preset properties that you can further customize using the options below the extension. The image slider has a built-in ability to display an image slideshow. This demo allows me to change slideshow specific settings. For example, I can set the interval to 1000 milliseconds, the play pause button allows end users to start and pause the slideshow. The image slider allows you to hide the image area and use the image slider in navigation bar mode. It also supports the template technology, allowing you to completely customize an extension's appearance and layout. In this demo, the image area is used to display videos and the thumbnails are used to display information about videos, i.e. text and time. The image slider can also function in full screen mode. Let's add it to the ASP.NET MVC web application. The application contains a default home controller and the empty index view. I'll add the image slider extension to the view. Let's define the extension name and add several items. I can add an item by specifying the item's image URL. Here I add images from my content images folder. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see the fully functional image slider. Let's modify it a little. I'll return to Visual Studio. The easiest way to display images is to bind the image slider to a folder with images. There are three methods to bind the image slider to data. You can bind it to an XML file, to a folder, or to a model. So I invoke the bind a folder method and specify the path to the folder with images. I can also enable the slideshow demo. I enable the slideshow autoplay, define the slideshow interval, and define the play pause button visibility. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. The image slider automatically demos the slideshow with the defined interval. Again, let's return to Visual Studio. We'll show dots instead of the thumbnails inside the navigation bar. And back in the browser, we can see the image slider with the dots instead of the thumbnails. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.